Today we are putting together this air hockey table for kids at the tabletop, no legs. I'm gonna review it and show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to put it together. Here it is out of the box, specifically for kids, no legs. It's just the air hockey table, which has some certain advantages, like you can actually move it around. It's pretty versatile, pretty portable, but does it hold up to the test? Let's get it out of the box here. Brand new and doesn't break the bank either. Very simple setup, very simple design. Let's get out all the parts and pieces. Everything is wrapped pretty well. And I wouldn't stand on top of this and jump around or anything, but it seems to be a nice kind of polished finished, sturdy staples, pieces of plastic on the corners, some particle board, a couple of plastic L bracket pieces on the inside. And here is what you have to do to assemble it. They've got these two black plastic pieces. These are the number score sliders. There's actually a plug-in because it's got a fan. And it comes with two pucks and two handles or whatever you call those things and four separate screws. You'll need your own screwdriver. Screwdriver is not provided. And you start by putting on one of the black plastic sides like this and there's two screw holes on the underside, just like that. By the way, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, do lots of home projects and home product reviews, things like that, saving you time and money. And don't forget to share this channel with somebody. That would be much appreciated. So here we go. We'll get those screws in. And it's a little awkward, but tilt it up or put it up on a flat surface so you can see that underneath a little better. And the, pre, the, the holes are pre-drilled and they align pretty well. I didn't have to wrestle with it or anything to get those screws in there. And you tighten those up by hand. I don't recommend a drill because you don't want to crack any of the plastic. So you just kind of get them started like that and then finish it off with the screwdriver. You can kind of load it up on the end of the screwdriver like that. And it might fall out of your hands a couple of times, but say la vie, you'll get it after a couple of minutes. And here's a look at the underside. It's got a little fan unit to actually propel and blow these. And there's a noticeable difference with the fan off versus the fan on. So here are the four separate pieces provided. A puck, an extra puck, and two handles, one for each player. And we've got both of those plastic scorekeeper pieces on the side. Here's with a shot of it with the fan off. So let's actually get this thing plugged in and see if that puck slides a little more smoothly. So you flip the unit over. And you just pretty much have to do this one time. This part stays plugged in for the most part. And then you got this long cord and then the power button like that. On off switch. And the cord does not get pinched. It actually raises up. So no worries now there. Put, let's put this down and on turn it. Turn it on. You can hear it. Wait, and check it out. Cool? It's, it glides pretty smoothly. It now this is not a professional table at all. I've got a five-year-old and an eight-year-old, and we bought it for them, not teenagers, for example. So it's perfect to like put in the middle of the living room floor or up on the dining room table or on any table on their bedroom, for example. Pretty lightweight and portable, which is what we were going for. And they love it. And we're going to stop the video there. Overall, a very affordable air hockey table. Great price point and seems like good quality. So hopefully this has helped you out.